Although there is a science to finding the correct seat height, saddle position, setback, all that sort of stuff on our bikes, we, um, we all tend to have our own personal preferences as well. And it usually comes by a course of trial and error. So there's a few little tips and tricks I'd like to give you to help you find your seat height the first time, which is, you know, can't do much if I don't see you, I'm not riding with you. But uh, the other thing is how to adjust your seat, how to actually move it, and then once you have it, how to record what it is and be able to find it again. This bike has a quick release seat clamp. A lot of bikes have these these days. You just flip a lever, like on your, on your tire, everything moves up and down. That makes it really easy to adjust your seat or take it apart for packing or something like that. It also make, makes it easy for somebody to lose your seat height. So what I like to do is I like to, because I don't ever lower my saddle very much, so when I find my seat height, I put a piece of electrical tape around the seat tube there. That means, you know, when I take the seat out to pack it to go on an airplane journey or whatever, it'll always go back in the same place. If you commonly lower your seat, what you can do is scribe a line in there with, um, you know, a sharp tool. Or if it's not a black seat, you can write on it with an indelible marker. It may not stay as long, 